In the summer of 1988, thousands of fires raged out of control in America's forests. Hurricane Gilbert hit the Caribbean with abnormal ferocity. Floods killed tens of thousands in Bangladesh. Record high temperatures were registered in Beijing. And prolonged drought destroyed vital grain crops in the U.S. Midwest. Such unusual weather could become typical in the decades ahead if the world gets warmer due to the greenhouse effect. And our own pollution of the atmosphere will be to blame. The number one offender, carbon dioxide, a byproduct of burning coal, oil, and gas to power our energy-intensive world. In developing nations that are clearing land, large amounts of carbon dioxide also come from intentional burning of forests. The number two greenhouse gas, CFCs, the same gases which destroy ozone in the upper atmosphere. The number three contributor, methane. It leaks out of coal mines. It comes from more and more cattle which produce the gas during digestion. And it comes from rice paddies which create vast amounts of methane in their flooded soil. The way these gases raise the Earth's temperature is no more mysterious than what happens inside a car left parked in the sun. Solar energy comes in through the car windows in the form of light. Some of it gets converted to heat when it's absorbed by objects inside. But this heat has difficulty getting back out through the glass, so the temperature rises. Greenhouse gases do much the same thing as the car windows. They let sunlight in, but keep the heat from getting out. Not that greenhouse gases are all bad. Without some of them, the Earth would be freezing. Like Mars, where the thin atmosphere lets almost all the heat from the sun escape back into space. In contrast, the planet Venus has so many greenhouse gases, its surface temperature exceeds 800 degrees. While there's no worry the Earth will ever get that bad, over the past two centuries, the amount of one greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, has increased by nearly 25 percent. And since 1880, when reliable records began, the world's average temperature has gradually increased by about one degree Fahrenheit. The long-term outlook is obvious to climatologist Steve Schneider. Right now, the Earth is like a car with a window rolled halfway down. There's a medium amount of greenhouse gases out there, and there's a moderate amount of heat that can escape. But if we continue to do things like burn fossil fuels and use cars like this, that's adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, which is like rolling the window up, keeping the car warmer inside. If we add methane and chlorofluorocarbons, that's rolling the window up some more, trapping more heat inside the Earth, warming the planet. The big unknowns, says Schneider, are exactly how fast and by how much the temperature might go up, and what could be the consequences for the Earth. 